I'm just gonna warn you right now, this video is gonna sound like a commercial, but it's not. I like to get real close to you guys when I'm telling you something interesting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Marie. I'm here to tell you today about a book. I don't often do a book talk, or actually I've never, well, maybe I've done one. Um, I've done one book talk, so now here's number two. The Nature of Beauty by Amelda Burke. Who is Amelda Burke and why did she write a book? Well, she is a woman who runs and founded a beauty store in London called Content Beauty. She originated in Australia, she moved to London, she herself dealt with a skin condition for most of her life, I think she still does, and um, she found that she wanted like, a fancy beauty store for natural beauty products. She wanted that special experience that didn't involve shopping for beauty products in a natural food store. So she did it. Uh, she founded Content Beauty in 2009, and this book is sort of a summation of the experience and wisdom that she's gained from working with skincare formulators as well as brands, as well as customers every day. Really quick, I want to tell you where I heard about this book. I follow a green beauty blogger named Nicole or Nick on Instagram. She goes by this handle. She's been doing green beauty for a really long time. I highly, highly respect her opinion. I just find that the things that she says come from a very honest, pure heart. And so I love um, following her recommendations. I love following her on, her on Instagram and reading her posts. And when she posted about this book, I could not wait to get it. So let me, what I want to do is first I want to tell you this book is amazing. I could not more highly recommend it. I wish somebody had dropped it in my lap two years ago. I wish that anybody who wanted to transition to green beauty, this would be dropped in their lap. So I got it in December. It actually was one of the first couple hundred people to order it. So it came packed with a bunch of goodies. I did an opening mail video about it. And um, so I've had it since then. And I just find that I keep, I've read it through, but I keep going back to reading sections. So I think this book would be good for anyone on their green beauty journey or anyone who's on a beauty journey. There's tons of information packed in here regardless of whether or not you're into green beauty. It was $20, it was 20 pounds on the Content Beauty website. I think you can purchase it as well on Amazon. I don't think it's more than $25. Very reasonable for considering how much uh, wisdom is packed into there. And then she also has these like insanely gorgeous pictures. Look at this one of the honey. They're all black and white. They're just, I mean, it's just a beautiful book, a beautiful message, and um, beautiful to look at. Let me just tell you some of the quotes that have stood out to me, some of the truth bombs that I think she puts in here. Here we go. There is no less science in a natural product than a synthetic one. It's all science. Truth bomb. An ingredient that has been used on the skin for thousands of years and is still being used today is proof enough that it not only has real benefits, but also it has a whole lot of history to show it is less likely to have any long-term negative effects on your body when used in the correct way. Truth bomb! Some of the best natural products for your skin are sitting in your kitchen. That was all in chapter one. I mean, go order it. It's so awesome. Okay, so let me just tell you about the other chapters. The chapter number two is called Know Your Skincare. She breaks it down into segments. The segments are the origins of your skincare, ingredients she avoids. It, isn't that always something that you wanna know? Like for somebody that's been doing green beauty for most of her life, what ingredients does she avoid? Um, another, like if you watched my Friday video, Ingredient Anxiety, and you've been feeling overwhelmed by this whole world, 
it's always good to go back to people who then have been doing this longer than you and ask them what they avoid and why. And so she does a little bit of a breakdown of that in the book, which is very helpful, I think. How to read a label is the next section. I've, ha I've heard a lot of people ask that question. Common skincare terms explained. Natural skincare terminology, which is great when you're trying to decipher what is green and what is green washed, which I think we're gonna be seeing more and more of as natural products become more of a huge chunk of change of the beauty industry. Deciphering product descriptions. Chapter three for my science loving ladies is understanding your skin, which I think is really great. She goes into things that feed the skin. Um, you know, uh, she explains a daily skincare routine, how to do a patch test. Then chapter four, I think is one of the best parts of the book. It's called Curated Care by Skin Type 101, and she breaks down each skin type dry and dehydrated skin, sensitive skin, oily combo spot prone skin, aging skin, teen skin, and then within each of these segments, she goes through the types of skin, like the types of dry skin, ingredients to look for in your skincare, so that's all tailored to the section, skin type myths, optimizing your skincare regime, lifestyle tips, and natural beauty hacks. Really great wisdom packed into that chapter. She has a whole chapter devoted to cosmetics, body products, hair products, perfume. Then she has a, a chapter about beauty rituals, which is really cool to read, how to set up rituals for yourself to make your, um, you know, your personal time more valuable. She has a little bit, a few DIYs in her Make the Basics chapter. And then the last one she has is it's called Love This, Try This, where she goes through, if you like a particular brand, what green beauty brand you might like. So say you like Bare Minerals, you might like Alima. Say you like Bobbi Brown, you might like Well People. Um, and she does that for makeup, skincare, shampoo, um, very, very helpful. A lot of wisdom packed into this book. Like I said, I think no matter where you are on your beauty journey, if you have an inquisitive mind, and I feel like you do if you're watching this channel, then um, I highly recommend this book. So if you've read it and you have some thoughts on it, tell me below and otherwise I'll see you on Friday. Um, fun Fast Facts Friday is going to be like so much fun. The green screen is coming out. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.